Welcome to the 5 and 5 option trading series. We're making 5 videos over 5 days, roughly 5 minutes each to teach you about option trading. This is day 4 where we're going to cover volatility spreads and I'll say in advance we're going to move pretty quickly like we have in the previous videos. Um, so feel free to reach out if you have any questions. This series is being created by the weekly option podcast. Each week, we explain three new trades that you can add to your account this upcoming week, and we discuss the results of the trades from the last show. You can find us on iTunes, on Google Play, and on Stitcher, and so we'd love it if you uh, hop over and subscribe. Uh, we look forward to uh, having you join us each week. So what exactly is volatility? Well, volatility is one of the most misunderstood concepts in, fin in finance. In layman's terms, it is a measure of price movement of a stock or futures price during a specific time frame. Now, how does volatility affect options? Uh, increases in volatility increase the likelihood of options actually reaching their strike price. Therefore, increases in volatility will increase the value of options. And when volatility goes lower, um, typically the value of options also goes lower. Now, what exactly are volatility spreads? Volatility spreads are spreads that are designed to isolate um, only for the effect of volatility. So the main volatility spreads are straddles and strangles. Um, there are other types as well, but these are the two that we're going to focus on today. Now, what is a straddle? A straddle consists of the following, a call and a put at the same strike in the same expiration month. You buy both options or you sell both options. So buying a straddle, um, to buy a straddle, you buy a call and buy a put at the same strike and expiration. Increases in, um, the, the straddle increases in value as volatility increases um, and decreases in value if prices stay the same, if they stay still or move very little. And you can see in this payoff um, graph You'll, you'll pay for the straddle right up front, but then as prices move, you can, you can make quite a bit of money either direction. Now, the maximum risk is the price that you paid for the straddle, just like when you just buy regular options. So you can only lose the amount that you paid for it. The maximum gain, of course, is unlimited um, because an option price uh, can, can increase uh, with the stock going higher. Now, if you sell a straddle, um, that means you've sold a call and sold a put at the same strike in expiration. And when you sell a straddle, that straddle decreases in value as volatility decreases. So when prices don't move much or stay the same, that lowers volatility. And so um, it actually keeps your, your you, you maintain the value of that straddle because you received money since you sold it. So when prices don't move much, then you maintain the prices um, and lose very little on the straddle. Um, your maximum risk is unlimited, mostly on, mostly because you've sold a call and that call can go, in theory, up in, infinitely. Your maximum gain, of course, is the amount of money you receive when you sell the straddle. Now, what is a strangle? A strangle consists of the following, a call and a put that are at different strikes in the same expiration month still, on the same stock. Um, you would either buy both options or sell both options. So you can see the payoff graph looks a little bit different because the strikes are different for the options this time. So if you buy a call and buy a put at different strikes and on the same expiration, that means you bought a strangle. This position increases in value as volatility or stock price movement increases. It decreases in value the prices stay still or move very little. Uh, your maximum risk is the price that you paid for the strangle itself. And your maximum gain is going to be unlimited, mostly because a, a call can go to infinity. Now, selling a strangle is when you sell a call and sell a put option at different strikes and uh, on the same expiration. It decreases in value um, when volatility increases. So, um, when, when stocks start to move, you actually will lose money on this, uh, this short strangle position. And, uh, it maintains its value if prices stay still or move very little, just like in the case of a short straddle. 
Um, your maximum risk is unlimited, mostly because of the call option that you sold. And your maximum gain, of course, is the amount you received uh, when you sold the two options. So that's it. We moved through this really quickly. It obviously can be a little more advanced and there's much more. So if you have any questions, feel free to check out our podcast each week. You can find us um, by going to our website, theweeklyoption.com. And, uh, or you can email me at eric at theweeklyoption.com. Thanks a lot. See you on the next video. Day five, the actual income strategies.